Workplace bereavement is training somebody in the company to become a bereavement advocate, so supporting bereaved people coming back into work. My name is Jacqueline Gunn and I am founder of Workplace Bereavement Advocacy. My father died six years ago from a heart attack. Before the funeral, everyone's constantly asking how you are, what they can do, and then as soon as the funeral has been and gone, everyone goes back to normal, but your new normal is trying to negotiate this new life without your loved one. Going back into work, I realised that nobody knows what to say. They're frightened that they're going to say the wrong thing, so they avoid speaking to you. I thought, actually, you know, is there anything in place in workplaces um, for bereaved people? And there isn't, and it's hard. It's actually a really interesting thing in terms of what is bereavement? It's one of the most talked about subjects around whether it's sickness, whether it's unpaid time off, compassionate leave. In terms of that productivity, that's a, a time and amount of time, but you can lose sometimes around 30 days per bereavement. For us, a bereavement advocate is an individual, almost like your, your mental health first aid, your mental health champions, but it's someone who's specifically trained by workplace bereavement to become an advocate in the workplace. What do you say to someone who's maybe just lost the mum but you know you could really do with them back at work you know because their role is so important. You might not be well enough to come back to work and do your full-time job but do you want to do something? Do you want to do a little bit of your role? Can we look at some sort of blended approach? It is like that next stage in terms of that well-being in the workplace is making sure we're supporting people during that transition so I'm really proud to be involved. So the course is a day's course. So the training is internationally recognised by CPD. The course is very interactive and we've got lots of tasks in between the, the training. We offer a resource pack. We can't be too prescriptive. There's um, so, so many different circumstances in terms of how someone's died, um, life experiences, etc. But the skills that they have would give them an idea of how somebody might feel uh, when they've lost a loved one and they're coming back to work. It gives them the confidence to know that what they're saying is, is the right thing to say because I think often people don't say anything for fear of upsetting somebody. We also have just started with a podcast. We just have discussions on different subjects, obviously on death, and that can be accessed through the website and on socials as well. It's ongoing training as well, so we'll do bite-sized videos, uh, suicide, pregnancy and baby loss, men and grief. We also have a counselling team, so if anybody needs that extra support, which sometimes people do, we also have a bereavement midwife as well. Workplace bereavement will be in every workplace in the UK and into Europe. The feedback has been, you know, employees just saying it's just made such a difference knowing that my employer actually is looking out for me. I've got a safe space that I can go, I've got somebody that I can speak to and I've got a helpline on top of that. It's been a really positive feedback. Just having that support at work when you spend so much time there, it's a game changer.